and see how you were doing. As we begin to kind of slowly consider opening up and figuring out how we're going to get back to a little bit of normalcy, I'm thinking about how that is for you. I was talking with my daughter-in-law yesterday. She is the manager of a wonderful little store. I'll give it a plug. Winds of Change in Chagrin Falls and uh, also in Hudson. And she was talking about how that, oh, she wasn't used to being on her feet all day long and her legs were kind of hurting and, you know, those sorts of things that happen when you're in retail. And she was talking about how that they were all, the, all the employees were wearing masks. And several times, we were on the phone for 20, 30 minutes, and several times she said, I just wish people would wear masks. About half the customers that come in wear masks and, and then others don't. And I realized as I was talking more and more with her, I could just hear this pleading in her voice, just this, this desperate sort of desire for people to just wear a mask, please. I was talking with another friend earlier in the week and he was talking about having talked to his mother, his elderly mother on Mother's Day and she was recalling her childhood and some of those stories and she was remembering life during World War II and what it was like and how that the sacrifices that were made, how there wouldn't be eggs and there weren't, there wasn't sugar and they didn't get to bake cakes like she used to like to do. And we began to consider really the sacrifices that have been made in our country at different times. And that really, when we consider the sacrifices of today, they're really so, so very small in, consider, in comparison to sacrifices that have been made in times past. Friends, it's really, it's just wearing a mask. It's a simple way to say to another person you matter to me and your health matters to me and I care about your feeling safe. And so it's not that big of a deal. Do I love it? No, not, never, not really. But I'm so willing to do it because I want you to feel safe and I want us to all feel and be safe. And so when people are suggesting that I wear a mask, then you know what? I'll wear a mask because we are all in it together. And it matters that we care about one another and we find these small little ways to encourage one another and to add, show little acts of kindness to one another. So be well, my friends. I hope you'll join us on Sunday for worship, Amistad Chapel, United Church of Christ. You can find out information on our website or on our Facebook page. Um, website is amistadchapel.org, and Facebook is Amistad Chapel, United Church of Christ. I miss you, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday morning. Be well.